Okay, so uh, we've done a few things since we've laid out our ridge board. Um, we'll talk about the ridge board here um, first. Um, so if you remember, we did our 24 on center layout. Um, and what we've done is we've transferred those same layout marks to the back side of the ridge board. And we've also installed our rafter hangers. These guys are pretty simple. They're very similar to joist hangers. Uh, you just throw them on the 24 on center and fill every nail hole with a joist hanger nail. Um, those are going to come in real handy when we start laying our rafters up in place. Uh, we'll just be able to tack them in place um, with some more joist hanger nails. Um, if you've noticed, um, we've also installed our um, ceiling joists um, for the interior of our, our home here. Um, so this kind of serves two purposes. One, as you can see, we've um, installed scaffolding. It's basically a good platform to walk on. Um, if you have a little bit larger of a home, and you can't span your ceiling joist quite yet, um, you can set up scaffolding along the ridge, or if your peak is just way too high, you may have to set up some scaffolding. Uh, but for our case here, the uh, rafter or the ceiling joists um, serve as a good scaffolding. Um, just a quick safety note, uh, we do have a two by eight that we're walking on, and we've screwed it down in a few places just so it doesn't shift. Um, that's really important when working with volunteers and for your personal safety. And we've also installed um, two two by fours on the ends. Those are just temporary, um, so they're just fastened down until um, we get this roof framed. Um, the second thing that these uh, ceiling joists do is, um, remember when we straightened our walls, we wanted to keep our walls nice and straight. This is a good double check to make sure that um, they're perfectly straight. We know that our ceiling joists um, for this building are exactly eight feet long. So we lined up um, the ends of our ceiling joists with the front of the double top plate here. We fastened them down and then we made sure that they were perfectly flush on the back side. Um, if they weren't perfectly flush, we knew we had to do a little bit of adjustment. Uh, we turned out pretty good with this project, so um, our roof is uh, ready to be framed. Um, so now that we have our ridge board laid out and our rafter hangers in place, um, we have these two two by fours on both ends here. Those are just a good idea. They're like helper hands. Um, if you have a building that's 16 foot or less, usually you have 16 foot material. Um, these are just a really good way to hold the ridge beam so you don't have to use an extra pair of hands. Um, if you didn't have the capability of doing this, you can just have a couple people on both ends um, holding the ridge beam uh, on a ladder. Um, so, all right. If you remember from earlier, we laid out all of our rafters. Um, these are our common rafters. We have our plumb cut at the top, which is going to meet our ridge board here. We have our bird's mouth um, right here towards the bottom. And then we have our plumb cut for our fascia board. And those are going to fit on here, sitting right on our top plate and going to meet our ridge board right at the top here. And of course, they're going to be on our layout inside our uh, rafter hangers here. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit closer here. If you remember, I had that bird's mouth cut from um, the outside of the sheathing here to the inside of the double top plate. That way we have plenty of uh, surface here for um, using for fasteners. And that fits all the way from the outside of the sheathing to the inside of the double top plate, um, giving you a good seat. You, you want to try to avoid only having an inch or two. Um, one, it doesn't give you enough surface area to nail, and two, that can kick out over time and your rafters can fall down. So make sure you have a, a good enough surface area there uh, for nailing. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I like to install the outside rafters first. Um, that accomplishes two things. One, um, we've just got this temporarily in place. Um, you can see we have some quick clamps there. Um, if we install the um, outer two here and the outer two there, that'll get this ridge beam pretty much at the right height for all the rest of them. And we can do any final adjustments there. So what we're gonna do here is set this guy right on the outside and place it in our rafter hanger here. And I'm not gonna really focus on the outside too much at this point. I just wanna make sure that this uh, point here is nice and flush with the top. And then I'm gonna tack it in place with our joist hanger now. Oops. All 
All right, this guy's in place. So obviously I have my, my helper two by four here. I can't quite nail through this side, um, but there's four holes on, on each of these rafter hangers and you wanna make sure you fill every hole with a, with a nail. I'll get these other two after we remove the helper. All right, we are in place. So now um, I'm gonna go ahead and tack this other guy in place. AJ, you wanna take the reins on this one? AJ will grab it here. Oh, you wanna do the uh, one on the opposite end? Oh, okay. We don't have to pass you here. Same thing, he's gonna put it in place and get those two nails on the outside. Okay, so AJ now has his rafter in place, and I'm now um, putting mine in place in the back, and I notice I'm about a good three-eighths of an inch below my ridge board. That doesn't mean that um, our rafters are at the wrong length quite yet, it just means that we're gonna have to adjust our helpers and make sure we get this right in the right location. So, do we have that drill that we had here in a few minutes ago? We had secured this with a screw, just to be safe. I'm gonna remove that screw. And now I'm gonna have AJ running this quick clamp here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this rafter in place. And he'll be able to adjust it where it needs to go. Ready? Bring it down just a little bit. That looked good right there. Yep. Yep. All right, so he'll tighten it in place. Now I'll go ahead and tack this rafter into place. Now it's important to remember we're just working on the top here. Our rafter tails, our ends are kind of still flopping a little bit. So it might be a good idea to have somebody on the ground watching that so they don't accidentally fall off on you. All right, so we have these two guys in place. We'll go over here and adjust the ridge board on this one. Yep, this one needs to come up just a hair. So AJ will release the clamp. Right there, looks good. All right, and we'll tack this one in place. Okay, so we have our first four in here now. Now our ridge beam is pretty much at the right um, height. Um, what we're gonna do now is secure the two bottoms and that'll make sure that this is right where it needs to be. And then we can go ahead and install the rest of the um, common rafters here. So I'm gonna show you real quick on one how we attach these guys at the bottom. We'll come to the front here. And what we wanna basically do here is see how we're a little bit away from the wall here. We wanna make sure that this plumb cut of the bird's mouth is pushed real tight up against um, the wall sheathing. If we don't do that on all of them, our ridge is eventually gonna be really wavy and that just doesn't look good um, with the final product. So we wanna really take our time and make sure that we have all these guys set um, nice and tight up against the sheathing. 
So what we're gonna do here is um, do a toenail um, right through the bird's mouth here into the double top plate. And um, I know a lot, of, uh, a lot of communities have different codes requiring um, different fasteners for their, um, for their common rafters, so it's a good idea to check your local code for a nailing pattern. I typically do two toenails on one side and split the difference on the other side with a third toenail. So I'm gonna get the nail started here. All right, so I'm looking at two things here. I'm wanting to get it nice and flush against the sheathing, and I also want to get this end one nice and flush with the double top plate on the outside. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna actually start it a little bit further this way, and when I hit that nail, it's gonna bring this rafter into uh, uh, right to where it needs to be, nice and flush on this outside. All right. Started a little bit too far back, but got it flush. Do a second toenail here. Okay, so we got these two on this side. We'll do a third on the other side, and then we'll continue to do the other three that we have put in place here. After we get those um, four uh, secured, we'll go ahead and put the other um, five on each side, right up against our um, ceiling rafters here. And then our roof rafters will all be put in place. Okay, so we got all of our common roof rafters in place here. Um, we ended up and put all four nails in each rafter hanger here. And then we also nailed off each bottom. Uh, we have one last one here that I just wanna give you a quick demonstration on how we nailed off the bottom here. Um, so basically, um, you just we're gonna use some uh, 16 penny nails. A little unorganized with my belt here. Um, and just like we did on the end uh, roof rafters here, we're gonna do a couple toenails just to put them in place. One more. Okay, so we have our bottoms nailed off. And then the only last thing um, to do here is to finish nailing off um, right here at the ridge beam. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some more toenails here. And we're gonna put two on one side and three on the other side right into the ridge beam, and I'm gonna start this way. So every once in a while, I don't know if you can get, uh, come in close here, but you can see our rafter just a little bit off a of layout here. If you, uh, if you have a rafter that's a little bit off a of layout, you can fix it right here with your toenails. Just start on the opposite side that it's off. hitting the rafter on the other side, but it brings it right back into place. And then that nail will hold while you put in your other two nails. So now we're connected at the top, we're connected at the bottom, and we have all of our common rafters in. Uh, next we're going to move to the gable end framing.